Neo Bill Foodie. Thank you all for tuning in once again. And we are back with another highly requested video. But before I tell you what we're getting ready to make, I need you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Also hit the little bell button for the notifications to get all notifications when I put up new videos. If you haven't already guessed it, baby, come on up in the room because we are finna be, listen, let me do a public service announcement real quick. I may screw up this name, okay? I may screw up the chilies when I tell you what kind of chilies they are. Thank God for pictures, okay? <laughs> now, back to what I was saying. We are getting ready to do B-Air tacos with consomme soup, honey. Yes, yes, yes. Don't come for me if I said that wrong. I'm not Mexican, and I'm not trying to mess up y'all name, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm black, and uh, I, I'm just going to leave it right there. All right, so let's get on started for our ingredients. We have three different types of chilies. We're going to be using ancho chilies, we're going to be using arbor chilies, and we're going to be using guajillo chilies. I hope I pronounced that right. If not, you see them right there, honey. Yes. Pick up those three chilies. I'm also going to be using bone broth to help flavor the meat. I have two big packages of chuck roast and together it's around four and a half pounds so that's going to be our meat i have chick uh beef bouillons i have my um corn tortillas i have the onions cilantro the carrots we have tomatoes limes garlic and for our seasonings we have clove ground clove we have bay leaves, we have oregano, we have thyme, ground cinnamon. We have two different types of cheeses that we're going to be using, mozzarella and quesadilla. We also have vegetable oil because we want to put together um, a little chili oil to fry our tortillas when we get ready to make our tortillas and prepare them. Um, we also, I think I said cilantro. Um, and the cilantro and onion, that's going to be used for our topping. I'm also going to have some guacamole. I'm going to do some spicy guacamole. But I didn't put that out here because we'll do another video on that. But I hope y'all enjoy this video, honey. We finna get down up in here. Stay tuned. Sit back. Relax. Your mouth going to water. And it's okay, honey. It's okay. All you got to do is go on and get these ingredients. You know what I'm saying? Just like I did. A lot of people be like, ooh, give me a plate. No, that's why I put it on YouTube. So you can make your own, girl. Yeah. So thank you all for tuning in. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. So we are back. And what we're getting ready to do is actually cut off the stems off all our chilies and get the seeds out. We're also going to cut up these two onions and we're going to peel a whole bundle of garlic because we want to get this all boiled. I have um, eight of the Guajillo chilies. I have about 10 to 12 of the Arbor chilies. I have five of the Ancho chilies. And what you want to do, the easiest um, thing for me to do, because some people use a knife, but I use a kitchen shear. Just cut it and then just go down the middle of the chili and remove the stems. Now, if you have sensitive skin, um, I would advise you to put gloves on. And, and what we're going to do, we're going to take the seeds out because all the heat is in the seeds. And... Um, if you don't want that much heat in your uh, consomme soup, then take definitely take those out. But it should look like that. Still some seeds in there, but we'll get those out. And we're going to continue to do that. And we'll be right back when we're ready to uh, boil all these things together. Okay, you guys. So as you see, we got all of our onions cut up. We have all of the bundles of garlic peel we have all of our peppers cleaned out with the seeds we're going to put this we're going to put about four to six cups of water in here and let this boil for about 30 minutes we want the peppers to rehydrate and all of these flavors to kind of meld together then what we're going to do we're going to set it aside let it cool and put it in the blender because this is going to be the base of our sauce then 
what I did here, I washed up our beef chunk and then I cut them into pieces because now I'm gonna bring you all over to the stove and we're going to get these seared up to put in our crock pot because we're gonna slow cook this um, in the crock pot for about um, four to five hours till the meat gets tender. Um, so come on over to the stove with me. I'm actually going to put one cup of olive oil in this pan to fry the beef. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because remember in the beginning of the video, I was talking about making chili oil to dip our tortillas in. Instead of making the chili oil separately, I'm going to fry the beef. Okay, instead of making the chili oil separately, I'm going to fry the beef in the oil. And then when I transfer the beef to my crock pot, I'm gonna transfer the oil too. And when I mix up all the ingredients with the different spices and the chilies, the oil is going to really be penetrated with the soup. And therefore, I'm just going to skim the oil because we know oil rises to the top. So I'm going to skim the oil off top to use um, for dipping in our tortillas before I fry them. But you'll see that later on in the video. So let's go ahead and get our beef fried up on both sides. Okay, you guys, so as you can see, we have seared off our beef, our peppers, as you see, has been rehydrated. And now what we have to do, we have to let this completely cool, and then we're going to put this in the blender, and we're going to add our spices and our seasonings to this into the blender. Okay, guys, so we are back, and we're going to put together our spices to blend with our peppers and tomatoes and onions. Um, I do have to cut up a few Roma tomatoes to put in the blender. So first we're gonna start with about two tablespoons of paprika. We're gonna do one tablespoon of cumin. We're gonna do one tablespoon of oregano. We're gonna do one tablespoon of thyme, a half a tablespoon of ground clove. We're gonna do a tablespoon of cinnamon, maybe two teaspoons of salt, teaspoon of pepper, two teaspoons of pepper. We're gonna mix this around. And this is our spice that we're going to add to the blender with the peppers. And we also are going to add about, and some of these bay leaves are small, so I'll say about eight to make four to five good bay leaves. So if you have the regular big size, I don't know why these so small. Um, I would do five. And so I'm gonna get this all mixed in. And we'll be right back. Okay guys, so we are back. And as you see, I transferred all of the peppers and onions and garlic into my blender. I also added three Roma tomatoes and I'm going to add the spices to here. So I'm going to get this blended up and I'll come back to show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so we are back and this is what our puree looks like. And we just want to add all of that to the beef. We're also gonna add our bone broth For extra flavor, we're going to add some beef bouillon. I think I'm going to do three. And I'm going to add a little more water to this, guys. 
and we're gonna we just gonna let it cook for the next four to five hours all right you guys so i wanted to show you all the meat that's in the crock pot and it is done we are getting ready to take it out and shred it we're also going to drain our soup um i'll show you how i'm going to do that so just wanted to give you a quick glimpse of it in our slow cooker okay you guys real quick i wanted to show you how once everything has cooked how we drain the soup because all of these, this, this is the pulp from the peppers and the tomatoes that we put in. And so we want to all, we want to get this all drained. So we have nothing but soup. Now, one thing I did forget to mention, I did halfway through the cooking process, I added carrots. So there are carrots in here as well. We scoop the soup over. And real quick, I want to show you how tender because we're going to shred this beef. And you see that? Just picking it up. we just shredding it with our hands. That's how tender it is. And so we're going to get this beef shredded. We're going to get our station ready to do our tacos. And we'll be right back. All right, you guys. So we are back and we have our setup going. We have our griddle hot. And what we want to do, we want to take our tortilla we want to dip it in our soup the soup has the oil on top See if we can do three at a time real quick Now, I'm gonna add some cheese. I have two different type of cheeses. Let's turn this stove down just a little bit because I don't want it to cook too quick. I have queso, mozzarella cheese that I'm adding. Adding our beef. gonna go ahead and top it with some onions and cilantro I cut that up give it a little freshness let's flip them oh yes yeah, so pretty and guys this is pretty much it we're going to get these plated up, show you the other toppings that I have, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are back. We thank you all for tuning in. This is our Berbe Consomme Tacos. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I will say there's a lot of steps to get these tacos. However, I promise you, they are worth it. They are worth it. We added our guacamole on the side, some salsa. We have our uh, lime wedges. You can even, you know, wear some in your soup. So, like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification button. Tell your friends, your aunties, your cousins, them, all of them. Tell them to come to Neil B and see what we cooking up in the house. I'm not gonna hold your patience very long, baby, because it took me so long to cook this. <laughs> baby, I am ready to eat. You all be blessed and have a wonderful, wonderful day.